Evaluate the triple integral over the solid region B of 2z sine x plus y squared dv, where the solid region B is defined such that x is on the closed interval from negative 2 thirds pi to 1 third pi, y is on the closed interval from 2 to 4, and z is on the closed interval from 1 to 3. Recall when using rectangular coordinates, we can let dv represent any order of integration with respect to x, y, and z. Because the sine function is a function of x, let's integrate with respect to x last. Let's let dv equal dz dy dx. This indicates we have the triple integral of 2z sine x plus y squared dz dy dx. If we change the order of integration, we will get the same result, and you may want to try a different order for yourself. The limits of integration for z are from one to three. The limits of integration for y are from two to four. The limits of integration for x are from negative two-thirds pi to one-third pi. We begin by integrating with respect to z, treating y and x as constants. The integral of two z sine x with respect to z is two times z squared divided by two times sine x, which simplifies to z squared sine x, and then plus the integral of y squared with respect to z is y squared z. And now we determine big F of three minus big F of one by performing substitution for z. When z is three, we have the square of three times sine x, or nine sine x, and then plus y squared times three, or three y squared. Minus, when z is one, we have sine x plus y squared. Simplifying. The integrand function is nine sine x minus sine x, which is eight sine x. And then three y squared minus y squared simplifies to plus two y squared. And now we integrate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. Integrating with respect to y, the integral of eight sine x with respect to y is eight sine x times y, or eight y sine x and then plus the integral of two y squared with respect to y is two times y cubed divided by three, or two thirds y cubed. And now we determine big F of four minus big F of two by performing substitution for y. When y is four, we have eight times four times sine x to 32 sine x, plus two thirds times the cube of four, which is 128 thirds, minus when y is two, we have 16 sine x, plus two thirds times a cube of two, which is two thirds times eight, or 16 thirds. Simplifying, we have 32 sine x minus 16 sine x, which is 16 sine x, And then we have 128 thirds minus 16 thirds, which is equal to 112 thirds. And now we integrate with respect to x. The integral of 16 sine x is 16 times negative cosine x, or negative 16 cosine x. And then plus the integral of 112 thirds with respect to x is 112 thirds x. And now we determine big F of one third pi minus big F of negative two thirds pi, which gives us negative 16 cosine one third pi plus 112 thirds times one third pi minus when x is negative two thirds pi, we have negative 16 cosine negative two-thirds pi plus 112 thirds times negative two-thirds pi. Now let's determine the trig function values of cosine one-third pi and cosine negative two-thirds pi. 
in standard position, the terminal side of one third pi or pi divided by three is here, where notice the x value is the cosine function value of one half, and the terminal side of negative two thirds pi, which is coterminal to four thirds pi would be here, where the cosine function value is negative one half. Giving us negative 16 times one half plus 112 thirds times one third pi is 112 ninths pi. Minus negative 16 times cosine negative two thirds pi, which is negative one half. And then plus negative 224 ninths pi, or minus 224 ninths pi. Continuing to simplify, we have negative eight minus eight, which is negative 16, and then we have 112 ninths pi plus 224 ninths pi, which simplifies to plus 336 ninths pi, which does simplify to negative 16 plus 112 thirds pi. This is the exact value of the given triple integral. I hope you found this helpful.